bracket we have, oh wait, no, no, this is Loser Seven. So the winner of this will be playing uh, Odie Tempo. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. Would you like to commentate this match, Odie? Yeah, the, uh, the people who win here will be playing you. Yeah. Who are you hoping wins here? Uh, in other words, who uh, would you I rather mean, play? We already played Gatsu, Drumsloth. That was really scary, so I don't know. I mean, both teams sound pretty hard. Fox Puff is, like, really good against Falco Peach, but, like, and then, like, Falcon Icy are, like, really bad versus Falco Peach, but also one team is Gatsu and Drumsloth, who are, like, really good, and then the other team's, like, Panda and NB who are, like, pretty good. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. But you definitely have a better track record at this They're point. They're, like, both scary, you know? So what you're telling me is you have two monsters under the bed and you can't pick between one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like we basically, like, we almost lost our set versus red team pretty pretty easily. Like, like if I got smash attacked by Jay, like, one more time, I probably we probably would have lost that set. So, like... Yeah, that last game so, was crazy. So, so it wasn't, like, a very, like, definitive win. E even though I think I, I'm the one, even though I think I killed Tempo in the end, yeah. What is happening? Anyway. So, uh, we got, you know, we're going, looking into this match now. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. That's a good Edgar setup. That was sick. That was amazing. I also like the way, uh, Gatsu and Jay play teams. It's really cool. Like, like the 1v1 situation? Yeah, yeah. No, no, like the, the way they, the way they play actual doubles, like, when, with each other, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Like, uh, they have a lot of unique little setups and stuff that they like to do, and the way they like to pincer is a little unique because their characters aren't like they're not like Fox where like pincering is like the easiest thing in the world to set up. You just start back airing. It's like like Icy's kind of have to like try to go for a grab and then like throw somebody away and then they instantly have to pincer the next person, which is like I guess it, it's they just have to be like really fast on the pickup all the time or else their team doesn't work. Drunk South has been doing a really good job at stock tanking today yeah, with yeah. Sopo. It, and like there have been many times, especially in that set against you, where Nana would just die, and I'd be doubting his Sopo. And Nana, nah, Jay's Sopo will always pick up kills. Like, it, it it's a Sopo, which is like worse than climbers, obviously. But like, yeah, you just can't sleep. It's on not. It. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he'll play it like the way Kuya plays doubles, where like you kind of just play near the corner. You kind of you like you like, like you'll extend a little if you can see if you see an open hit or anything like that. But you just kind of play safely, and then like when you see an open hit, you just go for it. Try to combo with your teammate, or just try to get him off stage and go for like a gimp or something. Definitely. Oh. Pan has been rocking the race car tag. I like it. Uh, Red Team's been missing some. <laughs> they've been missing some edge cards uh, that would really put them far ahead in the lead. But uh, they've been overall just keeping yeah. a slight lead. Yeah, 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 this game's basically even right now. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this game's even. Drunk South was a little bit late on trying to save his teammate. It's kind of hard for climbers to do anything to save, honestly. Well, like he probably could have gone all the way down and then like side beat up, but then he's like risking getting edge guarded himself. Well, he tried doing was he tried throwing an ice yeah, cloud, yeah. and it just like he was just a little bit too late. Well, he was he was really late. To yeah, be yeah, honest. Because yeah. he was fighting Brandon the entire time or Panda the entire time. And that's completely fair because yeah. like Panda won't let you go away. His character is much faster. <laughs> There's a couple situations where Panda's starting to get backered by Matt now, which is not good. Or, uh, and, you know, yeah. Don't y'all try to read Panda there and go for the S-Mash on just the roll in. Or no, that's just the, the smart. Play that's the smart way to play Sopo you know, in doubles for sure. Just read? Is, yeah, just, just just go for like random read smash attacks. If you hit them, especially I noticed when I was teaming with a Falco, if he hits them, Falco's just like gone, like he's dead. It's uh, it's pretty scary, honestly. Like Most teams, when you get them down to Sopo, it's like, all right, he's Sopo, let's focus on the other guy. But uh, when I when I had a Falcon on my team, I, I felt like nervous doing anything, like focusing anyone really. Yeah, I was really until, noticing that. Like uh, Tempo was getting edge guarded really early percent, just getting like some strong hits, and it would mostly be like a result of like roughly bad DI. Yeah. yeah. But uh, there, in game two, he did a really good job of bringing together in your last set against uh, Kobo Ritz and made it a lot closer. Or not game two, game three. Yeah, we we got kind of bodied by Kobo Ritz. Yeah. But game three was good. <laughs> yeah, we definitely won game three, and we could, we could have won game four, even though we got like, even though we like lost by a decent amount because uh, like there there are just like a lot of micro situations that go wrong versus double fox, and then you're like down a lot, like because they can just kill so fast, especially Falco. Falco's yep. so good in doubles, and then he just gets off stage, and I I, I hate teaming with him, <laughs> but it's like so much fun to team with him. Besides that, like. 
it's excellent. And I imagine that's what it's like to play him too. Now that I'm playing more Falcon, I kind of feel that. Definitely. Well, Gatsu and Drunksoft took game one there, so they're gonna take him to Dreamland. I like this yeah. decision uh, mainly because I see that uh, Gatsu and Drunksoft like to have their own space. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one issue that I did have with their team at one point was that Drunksoft would feel like just covering his area being the ground and uh, just not go to the platforms at all. And you 2v1 got to at one point and he just stayed on the ground, focused on his area. Yeah. Uh, was he Sopo or Double Climbers? It was Double Climbers at that time. Well, they lost to Colin Ridge and then they lost to me in Tempo. But right now, they're doing a very good job working together. Sopo, again, being a great stock yeah, tank. Yeah, yeah. Hannah snagging the edge guard. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's Icy's, Icy's are alive for a while. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he just got sent too far, and he, he couldn't get any higher with his up for his side behind me, and so he was just dead. I'm really bad at, I don't know, I feel like it's really, it's a lot, lot harder to exploit Sopo in, uh, in, uh, oh my god, he died. Wow. That was sick. Gatsu that was like the perfect went, amount of percent. Gatsu was going crazy there for a second. He got the stomp off of Panda, getting that edge guard, yeah, and then yeah. like got sent up and tried to hit Envy if he somehow lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that's smart. Yeah. He's just going crazy. He's got great awareness right now. Red team with a solid lead here on their, uh, here on Envy Panda's counterpick. Yeah, yeah. People with like high awareness stats are like really, really good at doubles, you know? Oh no, Envy actually almost. He did. Wow. He led to the edge guard against Panda. This is looking really unfortunate for blue team, which kind of sucks. So I feel like this shouldn't. I guess. I guess this isn't like the perfect matchup for them, but Fox Buff is definitely the better team in this situation. That was a really nice shine coming out from Panda just a second ago, like uh, get, capitalizing off of uh, Puff's back air or pound, I want to say. Uh, yeah, Panda's just doing a really good job at like covering edge guards where Envy can. Okay. And that's saying something that Envy's been laying really good edge guards today. Oh, that was sick. That was a sick. That was a sick ledge steal from the boy. That was quick. Cause he was he was saving because he read Jay Joan for the Nana save, which he does. Oh no, man. That was poor, think, poor decision making, but also kind of an awkward situation that he might not have been sure what to do there. I think I I, I see the mindset. He grabbed Goss and he's like, okay, how do I get out of this? Cause yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna get forward smash. He should have forward thrown him because Puff's forward throw just has like a hitbox that makes him basically like. Not invincible, but you know, it's like it's like huge. It's like Puff's whole body. Yeah, it's the only. She like thing puffs that, up. Yeah, it's the only grab in the game that has a hitbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, and I, I see the mindset where like the back throw was like, oh, I'm gonna get away from the F smash. Yeah. But it, yeah, if he had F smash or F throw, I mean, uh, it would have uh, uh, been a better option. Okay, so they should probably focus on Gatsu, honestly. Yeah, they def should they, they should hit Jay off stage as soon as possible, because then he has to side me, and then like. He's stuck there for a while, you know. You can't you can't come back fast with us. Uh, icy side B. Well, another option is if you just like. Oh, yeah, Matt. If I agree. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Just because if they got that kill, it would be like they would be so hunky dory right now. Oh, he can Matt, go for that save. Oh, he, ah, he went for a back air, which was wrong, but also he missed, so it doesn't matter. Pound though. Uh, another. Option. Oh, well, down air, obviously, but pound. Yeah, no, no, no. But pound, air. pound was the best option there. Yeah. Takes game. Wait, that's it? It's only a best of three? Sad. Oh, yeah, it's semis. I, I thought loser semis still had the best of five. All right. Well, Odie and Odie Tempo off to go play. Got to drunk off. The, uh, this is mine. Uh, playing Got to drunk off, who they previously beat in winner side of bracket. Uh, Good stuff again to Gatsu Drunk Soft taking that set against MV Panda 2-0. They had some really nice combos there and just were working solidly overall. Uh, Blue team had some nice edge guards. Th that was by far their best thing that match. They had some great team composition against the edge. Um, just some rough exchanges in neutral really led to like that match going the way it did. But now going into this match, like I said, the track record in this tournament has Odie Tempo up a set. But as you heard Odie talk about it earlier, he's not too confident. It's, it's still very shaky. It's uh, it's going to be rough no matter what. And all I know is they're going to have to try real hard to make sure they keep this going. Winner of this will be playing Cobalt Ritz in Grand Finals.